Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. For the very first time ever, the American Psychological Association has issued guidelines for psychologists to help with issues for men and boys. That report also links certain kinds of ideology about masculinity to homophobia and misogyny. Interestingly, it was just last week when a new Gillette commercial portrayed what's being called toxic masculinity came out, receiving both high praise and backlash, proving this is so timely. We welcome psychologist Doug Ware to talk about this. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. So, th how significant is this? That this is the first time that such guidelines have been issued. Well, APA has um, issued guidelines for um, actually girls and women, um, L LBGT, um, uh, record keeping, you know, more professional things. Uh, but it's significant in that this is the first time, as you mentioned, that it was done for men and boys, and it, it's been, uh, it's 40 years of research, it was a 13 year process, and wow. it's resulted in this 30 page dense, dense document with hundreds of references, but the, you know, the goal is to help psychologists mm -hmm. help men and work with some of the issues and uh, situations and stresses that they have to deal with. I'm going to assume that this document is not meant for me, the consumer, and so I'm going to ask you to run down some of the things that are in there. And one thing that I think we want to really emphasize is that this is not a, about politics and culture. This is about science and data, correct? Exactly. The, it, it started, it got funded in, in 2007, so this, this was a nothing to do with with right with now current events and yet it's it's very relevant to current events i guess um so it's it's been a long process um what you've heard in in medicine and healthcare about evidence-based standards this is scientific data um it's been reviewed by um all the boards and committees after the experts put it together mm -hmm. it was out for public comment and then it finally gets published. So it's a, it's a long process. Um, it's it's meant to to be solid material, um, and and you know it's it's not necessarily a, it's a political statement of right. any kind. Right, they're guidelines. Um, what what do we take from this? What are kind of the headlines of of what the data has produced? Well, first of all, the, as as guidelines, um, they're not standards in in psychology and, and a lot of the healthcare professions, there are standards mm -hmm. which you must follow. Guidelines are, are like recommendations, mm -hmm. good advice, um, um, and it's, it's, we're not bound by that. Our, our clinical judgment, the situation um, that we're dealing with with a client is what, what is the final yeah. determinant of what we do. So, so what, what they found is basically that what um, in the research, they use the word traditional masculinity. And, and some people mix that up with uh, traditional um, values. And, and it's not about the values. Traditional masculinity in this academic research is about um, the uh, tendencies and values of um, men to be uh, violent, and of course most men are not violent, um, to be um, control, controlling, um, dominant, and to extremely restrict emotions. Mm -hmm. And what they found is that those qualities um, have repercussions both inward as, as inside of men and outward in society and how it affects other people. You know, I've always kind of felt like women have the better end of this deal because we have such open and, and freeing and helpful friendships and that if men are restricted in terms of what they're allowed to talk about, you know, if they can't be mm -hmm. vulnerable, mm -hmm. if they can't, you know, be real, because I remember for years hearing my husband talk to his best friend on the phone, they'd trade things like how much they weighed now, and I'm thinking, what is this? This is so not, you know, a friendship that I can relate to. So there are areas in which this can really help men evolve into being, having a more fulfilling life. Absolutely, and and as you said, um, vulnerability is is one of the, mm -hmm. the words that, that doesn't work with men. You're, um, in, in terms of this traditional um, concept of masculinity. You need to be tough. Um, boys don't cry. Right. 
and and you don't go there with with these feelings so or even it, have a vocabulary right, for your feelings right 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 it's hard to describe them so if something doesn't feel okay inside um, you think something's wrong because that's not how a man is and then um, you look around and other men aren't showing any vulnerability mm -hmm. because you don't talk about it and then you think you're the only one you're the to only experience one that. you're alone um, you think something's wrong with you you think you're weak which mm -hmm. is another no-no right. um, and that leads to a lot of problems um, men um, in terms of uh, depression um, seem to have a lower rate than women but it doesn't show up because men play it out in substance abuse and um, risk-taking behavior and and um, other things and not self-reported right and so the data looks but when you switch to suicide which is often a result of depression men are commit suicide three and a half times more often than women that breaks my heart and that um, you know, probably the saddest part of all is as you go through the lifespan, you know, some of these problems start with young children and problems in school and um, on the playground and, and with academics. Um, but it, it goes through the lifespan and by the time um, you're retiring, you're facing issues like what do I do now? Your whole life is about your work you're um, really attached to who you are and that being identity. busy and now you don't have that and and when you retire you're facing all that alone and um, again just tying this back to the suicide rate the highest demographic for suicide is men over 70. I know that's so shocking I just read that it just proves how important this is and it doesn't mean that men can't be masculine it just means that you know we need to be able to be healthy in whatever way that we express ourselves thank you so much we'll do this again because I think yeah. there's a lot to be and, mined and, here and on, on, on that health note um, one of the things this whole way of being causes is that men don't seek health care and they don't check out things when they're sick so they get sicker and they their heart outcomes. attack rates we have a um, five years shorter lifespan than, than you. We gotta do something gotta do better more. for our right. boys and, and men. When on. we come back, our wellness experts return to answer questions. That just makes me so sad.